Good afternoon. Uh, today is February the 5th, 2009, and uh, I just want to talk about what's happening in our market right now. We're getting a, a lot of calls lately from uh, people who are just really curious what's going to happen this year in the real estate market here in Ann Arbor. Um, I know there's a lot of anxiety if we look at all the bankruptcies that are occurring, job losses, and of course uh, foreclosures when you see your neighbor across the street being forced out of their house through foreclosure, that does cause a lot of stress. Um, I do want to point out there are a couple of trends that I'm watching very closely that I would consider um, definitely positive. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the inventory. Uh, inventory in the Ann Arbor area marketplace has actually come down now over the last two years. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one being that of course a lot of people can't afford to sell their house and move up because the, they have no equity left. Uh, we've also seen a lot of people who have rented their, uh, their homes out and uh, those possibly might be coming back when those leases run out. But the good news is the inventory is less and when the inventory is less, of course, what happens hopefully um, that starts a stabilization of prices. Uh, the other thing we're seeing is interest rates are still at historical um, low rates and you can get anywhere from about four and three quarters to maybe five and a quarter, which is uh, incredibly low relative to what we've seen over the last 15, 20 years. So rates are still very, very good. And we're starting to see stabilization in certain neighborhoods uh, in Ann Arbor. And mostly where we're seeing this is in uh, the 250 to 350 price range in the subdivisions sort of surrounding the city and the townships. We're actually seeing prices not only stabilize, we're seeing them come up a little bit. So we're hoping that that's a trend that will uh, carry through uh, throughout the rest of the market, uh, but we'll keep a very close eye on that. And uh, one final thing is the bottom line is the number of sales that we have experienced in 2008 is about the same as 2007. So. The buyers are out there, they're just buying at much lower prices. I want to talk also about just the different school districts because you know the Board of Realtors came out with a statistic that um, property values had dropped 15.5% in 19, or excuse me, in 2008, um, which is like saying it's 82 degrees in, in, in the United States. Um, of course, in Alaska and Florida, that means nothing. Those are one is hot, one is cold, just like the real estate market. Um, Depending on the school district within Washington County, we're going to see great variances in property, uh, property values. Anywhere from Willow Run, and Willow Run had the highest uh, or the largest depreciation in value. And if I look at price per square foot, and to me that's the most accurate indicator of value because prices can come down or the sizes of the houses are increasing. Um, that's not a true indicator. So if I'm looking at price per square foot, Willow Run saw a decrease of 38% in 2008. Now the good news is, is that they saw an increase in sales of 50%. And what this tells me is that now the prices have come down so much, the investors are stepping in and picking up these properties. So that sort of is a good indication that uh, we've probably come near the bottom there because at these low prices now, people are coming in and buying them. And, and like I said, 50% more than last year. Um, the other areas where we've seen large depreciation is Ypsilanti, where there was 35%, and Manchester, 31%. Now, the least depreciation occurred in Ann Arbor and Chelsea. Ann Arbor saw 7.6%, Chelsea 7.1%. And what that tells me is that we're probably getting towards the bottom of the market. Um, the depreciation is you know, slowing down, and I think we'll see stabilization this year, uh, bar some economic disaster. But, um, so, I'm feeling pretty confident for 2009. I do definitely think that it's going to be a year that we all have to, uh, you know, work a little harder at and it's going to be a little bit challenging. But I think if we look at the overall picture, um, things are, I think, starting to look slightly a little bit better. Now, one thing that's also happening is, and I want to talk about this, is that a lot of sellers, uh, they're in a situation where they're upside down on their mortgage. And uh, there are a lot of people now who they have a house that is worth 400 and their mortgage is 500. So they're upside down that 100,000 and that locks them in. I want to share with you that if you are experiencing hardship, namely you've lost a job or you've, um, you know, a, a divorce, sickness, any of these things that in the past, uh, you could just sell your house and get out of the situation. This year, of course, uh, many people don't have that option any longer, but if you are experiencing some financial hardship uh, that has dramatically changed your financial picture, there are options, and here at the Bible Group, we're certified as uh, certified distressed property experts, and we can definitely help you.
through the process. Foreclosure is not the answer. You have options available to you, so feel free to give us a call. We can talk to you about uh, the different options that you have in that situation. So anyways, um, if you have any questions, feel free to call us here at the office, 761-3060, and uh, have a great day.